see you there. I'm just kidding, I set the camera up, I saw you there. Guys, today I'm doing a video that I'm really excited about. I developed a love, an adoration, if you will, for HSN. Suddenly every night, I found myself laying in bed, getting excited to cuddle into bed with my remote, and flipping on HSN, and just being completely enthralled <laughs> in watching demos and hearing people talk about the new KitchenAid this and these new robes and the vacuums and I was just, I was there. I was in it and I was shopping at 11 o'clock at night from the comfort of my bed, okay? Then I found out a bunch of you guys love HSN too. So when they reached out to sponsor a video, Duh, of course, I had to say yes. So this video is sponsored by HSN and I am gonna take you through my day a little bit and show you some great gift ideas for this holiday season. Their items are always a great value. They have a lot of specials. They have a lot of things that are exclusive just to them. You know, different colors, different sizes, stuff like that. So I'm gonna take you through some of what I think are really incredible gifts to give and receive. I would say that this is a gift guide for her, but to be honest, I mean, I showed my brother some of this stuff and he was down to clown, okay? He would have taken plenty of it off my hands as well. So, I will of course have the links for everything down in the description box below if you want to check anything out for yourself. They have exclusives that you don't find other places um, if you're like particular about your appliance colors and stuff like that. Uh, but they also have FlexPay, which you guys may or may not have heard of this before, but FlexPay allows you to make like no interest installment payments on items. So if, you know, maybe there's something you really wanna get or give and you don't wanna get wrapped up in high interest payments and stuff like that, but you still wanna be able to give this item, um, then you can sign up for FlexPay. And right now I know that they have extended like like their uh, shipping or their return windows. So you can return stuff through January 31st of 2021. Let's continue our day. On any given day, when I wake up, I take a shower, I brush my teeth, and then if my kids are going to school, I throw on a leisurely outfit <laughs> and I walk them to the bus stop. If they're not going to school or it's a weekend or something, then I will still take a shower and brush my teeth, but then I pop on a robe because I don't exactly know what I'm gonna do for the day on any given day and I don't like to get ready first thing in the morning so I like to have something nice and soft and cuddly to walk around my house in along with some slippers. So these are by Emu Australia. There's like a little separation there. They come in two different colors um, so I picked the lighter color option and I believe the sizes are from five through 11. I have a size nine here. They fit me perfectly. They have a hard sole on them so I don't know about you but I do actually wear shoes or slippers pretty much 100% of the time when I'm up and walking around um, just because that's the best for my feet in my 30s. <laughs> but I like to have something with a hard sole so that I can walk in and out of the house if I need to go get the mail or a package or go collect my cat when they ran out the front door or something. So I do like that they have a hard sole on them and um, they are real fur so they are super, super duper soft and they fit great. So like I said, I like to wrap up in a robe before I am going to actually get ready and get dressed and put makeup on and everything. And usually first thing I do when I come downstairs is I start cleaning, just cleaning up from the night before, from whatever the cats have left behind, etc. So I like to put a little robe on. This is a faux fur trimmed robe. It is super soft. Okay, as much as I try to say her name properly, I know I'm gonna mess it up. It's by Patricia Elchul. Is that how you say it? Lord bless me with the ability to say people's names, thank you. So it's by Patricia, okay? Anyway, she did a great job, okay? So this is in an eggshell color. That's the color combo that I chose. Um, they have a bunch of different ones. They have like a light purple and they have um, like a light blue. They have, I think, a black. They have, they have a wide assortment of not only colors but also sizes. So you can get this um, from an extra small through a 3X, which is nice. And I'm personally a size 16, 18 typically. And the size that I decided to get is an extra large 1X. 
So you can see that it, I mean, I have plenty of room. There's plenty of extra space here. I'm not like squeezing into it by any means. And I do like to carry my phone around and listen to audiobooks and stuff like that um, when I'm just moseying around the house. So there is a pocket there for me to put it in and a pocket on this side in case I have something else to carry. Um, and it is a faux chinchilla. So it's like a really soft faux fur around the neck and around the wrists and like I said, it's a super comfortable robe. I think it has a really good um, length on it for me personally. It covers most of my legs. I feel very covered up in terms of like being comfortable enough to like open the door if I had like a package or a grocery order or something like that. So like I said, the first things first, after I come downstairs, I start cleaning, okay? Because um, I have two cats that we adopted earlier this year and although they are adorably napping right now, looking like little cutie pies, Crash is back here, I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can see him back there, but <laughs> he's back there right now trying to sleep. And um, they just have a lot of cat hair, obviously. There's cat hair everywhere. Along with my kids who, you know, still eat and just drop crumbs everywhere. So we're gonna go ahead and start vacuuming. I vacuum every single morning. But today, I'm gonna show you my new vacuum. So this is my new vacuum. And friends, let me tell you that I have had many, many, many a vacuum. I have now tried the little robotic vacuum that goes on the ground. I've tried a cordless vacuum that I have to hang up on the wall to charge. I've tried traditional vacuums, of course. Um, but this is my first time trying the Bissell Air Ram. I have picked up another Bissell um, earlier this year and it's for mopping. I forget, it, it like escapes me what it's called. I'm sure it's on HSN as well. So if I find a link, I'll put it down below. But guys, I fell in love with it and I was like, Bissell is like the like best selling, most highly reviewed vacuum on HSN, okay? People love this thing. So I thought it was really cool and I knew like I had to try it. It does get really compact, so once you're done using it, you can go ahead and sit it in, you know, a closet or wherever you have room. Um, and I do like that because my other cordless vacuum, I have to hang it on the wall, and over time, it's actually damaged the wall just getting it in and out and in and out and in and out. Um, and then I can never just stand it up. Like if I wanna move a table or move a chair or something, I have to lay the vacuum down because otherwise it's top heavy and it'll tip over and it'll fall. This one is totally different. Um, also, it comes with like a little charger, right? Of course, because it is a cordless vacuum. So the battery does pop right off and you can charge this wherever you want. I'm sure you could get a second one if for some reason you felt like, you know, you really needed one. Um, but it does go from completely dead to fully charged in five hours and it has a 40 minute run time. If you were thinking of getting this particular vacuum, it is a really good deal on HSN. I have a really good price on it right now. So let's get to vacuuming because to be honest, my house, desperately, desperately needs it. little lever here. This thing, as you can see, I can pick it up pretty easily. It's only about eight pounds, I believe. So all the little nasty stuff that was on the ground is now in here and we're gonna empty this out real quick. So it just pops right out of the unit. I just needed to set it down to do it. And then um, everything will just come off the bottom. It's so much. <laughs> it's gross. I can see why this vacuum would be so highly rated. It is super duper easy to use. It clearly, it works great and Let's move on to the thing that I just earned myself, honey, because after I'm done cleaning, which I'm actually gonna mop a little bit first, but after I'm done cleaning, I reward myself with my favorite part of the day, cafecito. All right, guys, it's time for coffee. My favorite time of the day. 
You guys know lately I've been using a Nespresso maker. HSN has great Nespresso makers. Um, I got mine like a month ago. Got my original love, the first thing I ever fell in love with when it came to making coffee at home was my Keurig. Now mine wasn't as fancy as this. In fact, it wasn't even mine, it was my mom's. Um, but I absolutely loved it. I love that with a Keurig you can make hot chocolate, you can make cider, you can make coffee, you can make a million different kinds of coffee. One thing that the Keurig definitely does have over a lot of other coffee makers is that it has a wild amount of variety. I mean, if you are a Folgers gal, a Dunkin' gal, Starbucks, McCafe, Pete's, Donut Shop, Javalia, uh, Green Mountain we have over here, they have like 500 different types of K-Cups and this is the K-Supreme Plus. That's what I'm gonna be talking about today, but they also have the little My K-Cup where you can put in your own coffee grounds, so you can put in whatever you want and you can have your own little reusable cup, so it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy to get exactly what it is that you want. Now, like I said, my original love was the Keurig and I actually still have one. It is my go-to when I'm entertaining. Now, obviously, uh, we haven't been entertaining much lately, but I saw this little bad boy on a, um, I saw the video on HSN, and it does come with all of this coffee, okay? So it is a little package deal, and I saw it on HSN, and I saw her making everything, and I was like, I need to buy that Keurig, and then I was like, girl, you already got a Keurig, and then they were like, here's another one, and I was like, I'm not saying no to another Keurig. It's not gonna happen, it's not in me. But this is a really good gift for any coffee lover, someone who just wants to try out different stuff, someone who enjoys coffee, because it is like, it's such a moment. Coffee is a beautiful moment that you can have with people, and it is like my absolute favorite thing. So like I said, I got it because I do enjoy entertaining, and I like when people come over, and they can kind of brew their own cup, and they can do whatever they want. It's not a matter of like, oh, did you put a pot on? I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> We'll drink a pot, but um, it's nice to be able to give people options. Like they um, send with this, you get the light roast by Green Mountain and then you get the decaf light roast, which is like, I know my mom likes to drink decaf a lot because um, caffeine affects her a little bit differently. We have like the donut shop, the regular flavor. We have the dark magic of the Green Mountain. And then of course we have the caramel vanilla cream. And that's what we're gonna be having today, okay? But there are so many K-Cups. They're really affordable compared to, again, like an espresso. Now, I like an espresso as well, like I said. Um, I'll try to find a link for the one that I have on HSN and I'll put it down below. Uh, but let's go ahead and brew a cup of coffee because I am dying for one, okay? It's like 10 o'clock in the morning. I woke up four hours ago and I haven't had it yet. I've been waiting to do it with you guys. So this is super easy to set up. It has a water reservoir. It also comes with a water filter. Um, I just didn't put it in, but it's super easy to use. There's a power button. There are three temperature settings. There are um, a bunch of different size settings, four ounce, six ounce, eight ounce, 10 ounce, and 12 ounce. You can also brew over ice for iced coffee. And then there are three programmable, like, you know, each person can program their perfect cup. So instead of coming and resetting it and saying, oh, I want this temperature and I need this size and yada yada, um, you can just go ahead and hit your little button. It's just like programs in the car, basically. <laughs> um, so you can hit your little button and get your perfect cup every single time. So let's go ahead and um, make some coffee. You can also pick your strength. There's a little screen here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the middle one for my strength. And then for my temperature, I'm also gonna do the middle one because I am gonna put some cream in here so I know it's gonna cool it down. So let's go ahead and hit our K-cup button. And my cats are so suspicious of what's happening in the house today. <sighs> oh my gosh, this smells so good. <laughs> it smells so good. <laughs> I would like to think I'm not addicted to coffee, but like the feeling and the headache that I'm developing right now, it would it would say otherwise. Okay, I'm actually gonna switch the cup just because this one's gigantic and for the sake of YouTube, <laughs> let's do it up. Okay, uh, HSN, if you guys ever wanna hire me, just know that I would practice all this stuff first and I would have like the right size cup and I would I would be so good at this job I feel like if you guys wanted like if you need like another on-air personality you let me know I'm ready for I'm getting that tenure itch I'm ready I'm ready to jump I'm ready to jump ship I am living my actual dream right now selling you guys on robes and coffee and gift ideas gifts are my favorite thing ever I don't want to receive them no thank you, but I will go to the ends of the earth to get you the perfect gift. 
Coffee makers are an excellent gift. I don't care who you are. The Keurig is actually nice because even if the person doesn't like coffee, like I said, they have a huge assortment of um, teas and uh, ciders and hot chocolates. And yeah, I put whipped cream in my coffee. If you guys don't know about how I make coffee and the lengths that I go to for the perfect cup, you have clearly never seen my vlog channel. And I don't fault you for it. That's a little bit of apple cinnamon. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look, look, look at this cup of coffee. And you know what we're gonna do now? Are we gonna sit here and enjoy it and just have a jolly old time hanging in the living room? No ma'am, we got work to do. I'll catch you in the beauty room. <sighs> All right, gals and gals, what? We are now upstairs in my makeup area and my crafting area. This is the Cricut Maker, you guys. It's so hard to find right now and I wanted to gift one to someone this year and I ended up finding it on HSN. So it's the Cricut Maker and the Easy Press. Look, I know this is like unrelated. I bought these things on my own free will, but um, <laughs> just letting you know HSN got them and if you need a little flex play, honey, they got that too. Uh, also, full disclosure, this is my second cup. I ended up cleaning up a few things downstairs and bringing in the groceries for the recipes I'm gonna show you guys later. But let's move on to another gift idea for the beauty loving lady in your life or gentleman I suppose. There are plenty of people who wear makeup these days. So we have the Too Faced Enchanted Dreams. This is the limited edition makeup collection. I also watched this live when they showed it and um, the very first thing that I ended up buying from HSN was makeup because uh, I think, you know, we have YouTube and I feel like you can see a lot of people do um, their makeup and show stuff on YouTube, but I'm not gonna lie, I get intimidated by the people on YouTube because everyone is incredible at doing makeup and that's not me. Let's just be honest, it's not. I get by, okay, I do. But, um, you know, when I watched it on HSN and I watched the women kind of talking about like, oh, this and that, you know, I was like, oh, I'm sold. You guys look like me. You look like we have a similar skill set, like I'm sold. So this particular set comes with a bunch of different products. It comes with two different brushes. This one is a bigger powder brush, super soft, really nice. I mean, Too, Too Faced is a great quality brand, point blank period anyway. I have a ton of Too Faced stuff. And then you have the double-ended um, eyeshadow brush, so you have a side that's a little bit, um, better for like blending and then another one that would be great for just kind of packing it on. And then, of course, it's in like this adorable, you know, pink color. <laughs> and then you have the uh, Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara. And then you also get the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. So this is supposed to like actually plump up your lips. It says instant and long term. We'll give it a shot. And then, of course, you get a palette. I love Too Faced palettes, they're the bomb. So I use them all the time. I know this one's got pinky hues. Oh, it's so pretty. so pretty. Comes with a huge mirror. Hello, say hi. So you see you have a lot of sort of neutral shades and then you have the shimmers and then you also have two uh, blush colors down there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup and I'm gonna create a little look with this and then I will be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're done getting ready and uh, that limp plumper, limp plumper, limp plumper, <laughs> limp lip plumper, <laughs> that lip Plumper, boy, that thing tangles, okay? I definitely feel it. Um, I've been feeling it since I put it on like 20 minutes ago, so am I more plumpy? I don't know, girl. I stay pretty plump in my life anyway. Let's go get dressed though, and then uh, go downstairs and show you the next product. All right, Brian, now that we're all put together, and I did throw on a little top and some jeans. Let's complete the outfit with a new pair of shoes. So these are by Bear Paw. These are the Libby's. I got them in a pewter. These bad boys are so cute. I did see them live when they talked about um, their new like Bear Paw styles and I was so excited. You guys, look at them. Look at them. They're so shiny. This is like right up my alley. I live for like the suede and 
the nice furry super soft inside and the more you wear these the better they kind of conform to your foot. Now, if you've never had like suede lined boots before, you do um, want them to be a bit of a more snug fit when you first put them on. So I wear my regular size nine, and the more you wear them, the more they really like form to your foot. So this is not a shoe that you're like sharing with other people, you know? <laughs> I mean, not that you necessarily do that with any of your shoes, but not this one for sure. Um, so this is such a great gift. I have gotten and given boots like this in the past, and it's it always goes over well. They have so many colors, they have lots of different sizes, they have lots of different styles if like the poof ball isn't for you, um, but they're, they're a great boot. They're a high quality boot. And like I said, they have so many different styles available. Like you guys can um, take a look. I, I'll link some of the others down below as well. All right guys, now that we have gotten dressed, we're back in the kitchen and I am showing you the first gift idea I have here. I will say that I have had these things in my house now for about a month and I have had multiple people that have like happened to come over, drop something off, see it and be like, what is that? Can I have that? I'm like, because a lot of things in my house are up for grabs, okay? Um, but I was like, oh, that's a bread maker. They're like, a bread maker? How does it work, right? So I explained it to them. This is the Wolfgang Puck two pound bread maker, right? Bread machine. And I watched, oh my kitties are sad. I actually watched um, the live video when they showed it and I was, I, I was so tired that day but I could not close my eyes because I was so excited watching Mr. Wolfgang Puck himself making bread, making cake, making yogurt, making all kinds of different stuff. And so they have these different modes on top, right? You have basic, quick, French, ultra fast, whole wheat, cake, dough, bake, sweet bread, jam. You can make just the dough if you want, and then you can take the dough out and make it into something else, make it into a different shape, what have you. Um, they have just the mix and stir, gluten-free custom, which you can customize to whatever it is that um, you need, you know, as far as time and how long and all of that. And then yogurt is the fourth, uh, the fourteenth mode. So one extra special part of this particular bread maker is that it also has this nut dispenser up top. So not just nuts, but like seeds or um, really anything that you would want added to what it is that you're making. It is designed and set to release it at the perfect time so that you don't even have to think about it and you can just fill the dispenser with, you know, slivered almonds or uh, sesame seeds or something like that. And it'll make sure that it goes into your bread or your cake or whatever it is that you're making at the exact perfect time. Close that and then you hit the little nut button and um, it'll prompt you from there like what it is that you need to do. So you can choose the different colors if you want a light bread, if you want it to be um, a little bit darker. You can t customize everything here. So it's really, really cool. I have never had anything like this. When quarantine first hit, I know everybody all of a sudden was making bread at home and I was one of those people and as much fun as it is, okay, to sit there and knead the bread and proof it and then do whatever you gotta do and then let it rise again and put it in the oven and it's, you know, it's a labor of love, okay? And my kids were loving the fresh baked bread every few days basically that I was making but it really became like an intense project for me to do it and the fact of the matter is that I have a lot of work to do and I do not have a lot of time to put every little bit and ounce of love into everything so we are going to use this today. I'm going to show you guys how freaking easy it is and what a great gift it would be especially for someone who does like to cook but who maybe doesn't have a lot of time or someone who would love to make fresh baked bread but maybe they're not especially skilled in the kitchen. I know a few of those folks and they would love to be better but they just aren't necessarily putting in the time and effort. But this would be a huge confidence boost because it's basically foolproof but if you do have any um, trouble or you notice anything is like coming out a little bit different than maybe how you would want it to come out. They do have troubleshooting and everything in the little booklet that comes with it and there are some recipes in here so I'm actually just going to use one of the recipes from the pamphlet that comes with it and I'm on the fence if I should use French bread because the kids love French bread or if I should make a cake but we're going to make cookies later so I think we're going to go straight up French bread and now the only thing I will say is pay attention to the order in which you are adding the ingredients to your bread maker. 
Look, I, I'm not gonna yell at Crash right now because we're on camera, but he knows better than to be up on this table. Okay, so let's get our bread uh, going and you're gonna see how easy it is to just kind of set it and forget it. I'm Papa Bear. I'll make you some bread. Say hi. Say hello. HSN has cat products too. All right guys, so it's actually pretty easy peasy for our French bread. We are gonna first put in one and a half cups of water. I always put your ingredients in in the order in which they are listed. So next up is kosher salt and they want two and a half teaspoons. The bread maker did come with a little um, teaspoon and tablespoon measuring uh, set here. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. And then we want the unbleached bread flour. So this needs, uh, we need three and a half cups of this and they do give you the little uh, measuring cup. Before I clean up, let's just do the sugar. We need three tablespoons of sugar. One, two, and three. And then we need two teaspoons of active dry yeast, which I have right here. I'm gonna measure it just to be sure. We have one teaspoon and we have, whoops, I missed. We have two teaspoons. And now that all of the ingredients are in there, we're gonna go ahead and close our lid. We're gonna press the mode button. We're gonna select French, which is the third one. So right there. And we have no nuts. It is a two pounder. And then we can decide what color we want it. If we want it light, medium, or dark. I'm thinking medium. The loaf size can be one and a half pounds or two pounds. Ours is two pounds. From here, all we have to do is hit the start stop. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna start kneading. And you see it says it's gonna take three hours and 50 minutes. So check it out. It's getting to work already. Perfect. Three minutes in. Perfect dough ball. Let's let him work. All right, now we're gonna talk about what I think is arguably like one of the best gifts ever that you can give someone who just loves to be in the kitchen, loves to bake, loves to cook, and that is a KitchenAid stand mixer. I actually got one for my mom this year for Mother's Day. She loved it, as you know, probably. It comes in so many different colors. There are so many different types of KitchenAid stand mixers. I have one that I've had for over 10 years. It is smaller than this one, um, or maybe right around 10 years at this point. It's definitely something that you keep for a very long time. You can pass it down to the next generation. They are incredibly well-crafted machines. Um, I, I wanted a KitchenAid so bad when I started baking and I started my blog and I, that was really my passion was baking and that's what I wanted to do. I think the next step in life might include something like that for me, um, but I guess only time will tell. However, this machine is insane. This one is like a behemoth compared to the one that I got. HSN has a ton of different KitchenAid stand mixers. This one is the Professional uh, 600 series, so it's a six quart bowl, which can make up to like 13 dozen, like, ugh, crash dog cat. Crash! Can I have a moment to myself? Now I have to clean everything again. So, like I was saying, this is the KitchenAid uh, Pro 600 series. Now it does have the lift bowl, so instead of like kind of connecting it from the bottom, this one actually completely lifts off the bottom of the mixer, and it has the capability of making dough for up to like 13 dozen cookies at once, and that's actually what we're gonna make today. Like I said, when I first got my KitchenAid, it was a huge investment for me. It was a it was a large purchase in my mind at that time. I didn't have the option of making payments and well, interest-free payments like you do now on HSN. Um, I didn't have that option at the time, so it was a big, big, big jump for me, but I think it was worth every single dollar that I spent on it. This one, like I said, is a huge upgrade from the one that I already have, and it comes in lots of different colors. They have a matte black one now too. <gasps> Good God, it's so beautiful. It is an incredible gift though. So we are gonna make some cookies, because like I said, 10 years ago, okay, when I was like in the kitchen, I mean, I'm still in the kitchen, but <laughs> I was in the kitchen a lot more back then. 
I think it was like 2012, 2013, I started testing cookie recipes and I started coming up with my own. So this is my butterscotch toffee cookie. They are unlike anything you have ever tasted before. They are so good. Anytime I make them, like, it is just like, what cookies? What kind of cookies? What is this? So I do actually have the recipe on my blog. I haven't done that in like five years. <laughs> Do you have the recipe on my blog? It'll be linked down below, but together we are gonna go ahead and make it. So the mixer comes with the bowl, of course. It comes with the flat beater. It comes with the flat edge beater. It comes with the, uh, this is a wire whip, and we have a dough hook here as well. And then of course you have the cover to put on top of it when you're mixing in like your dry ingredients. So let's make some cookies. I, like I said, I'll put the recipe and a link for this bad boy down below. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Okay, we are gonna use the um, flat edge beater for this. You just click it on like so. We have our bowl attached here. I'm gonna put it up as soon as we get some ingredients in there. Okay, so to start, you want to put in your butter and your sugars, and you're just going to cream them together. So that is half a cup of softened butter, half a cup of white sugar, and half a cup of light brown packed sugar. Now we're gonna go ahead and lift our bowl and we're gonna just start it on uh, one. Once our butter and our sugar have combined pretty well, we're gonna go ahead and add our eggs, pretty much one at a time, but obviously I have them in the same little thing here. So we'll add these and get it all creamed. These are pretty well incorporated, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and add our little guard so that we can put in our flour mixture, and um, this is two cups of cake flour with a bit of nutmeg, some salt, and some baking soda. It's all been combined. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of slowly add this in. well combined. I made a bit of a mess, but that's okay. Uh, the KitchenAid cleans up very easily. I typically just use like a damp um, washcloth or rag or something and I just wipe it all down once I am done. So we do have everything combined now. We're gonna go ahead and remove it. Oh, actually, I got some on top of the blades. So let me move that. Let's combine again. <laughs> kind of baker and cook you are, but I'm the kind that has to clean as I go. Otherwise, things just kind of stress me out. <laughs> All right, so now that our dough is pretty much made here, we can scrape off the beater. This is pretty much just your run-of-the-mill dough at this point, just, you know, sugar, flour. There is a difference in the fact that I like to use cake flour. Um, I've made it both ways, it's fine both ways, but I just prefer it with the cake flour. I use Swan's Down cake flour. All right, so now we have our cookie dough here and we're gonna put in, this is a cup of, this is actually dark chocolate chips by Lily's. Um, and you can make this a lighter recipe if you want to by using like a Truvia blend, brown sugar and white sugar. You can use Lily's, um, you know, stevia sweetened chocolate chips. So we have a cup of these. We have uh, three quarters of a cup of the butterscotch ones, which are so good. And then honestly, I feel like this is what sets it off is the toffee bits. And these are the Heath toffee bits. There are, there's another one that has chocolate on it as well. Like it's like crumbled Heath. That is super good as well. Um, and that's about, I think this is half a cup of toffee bits. So this is them all hanging out in there. It is a lot of sweetness for sure. Now we're just gonna mix it all up and make sure that it gets combined, but you know, not overdoing it. I do have my oven preheated to 350, so I'm gonna go ahead and scoop this out. I used to have a nice little two tablespoon scooper, but I think it left in my mom's house, so that's okay. I just have a cookie sheet with a silk pad on it to prevent any kind of um, sticking or anything, and it helps it kind of cook evenly. This is also a great recipe to freeze. You can easily freeze the dough, and it'll keep for a really long time. I know I've made it and then not cooked the dough for like a year, and it was still perfectly fine. My oven is preheated, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these bad boys in there. Okay, my cookies are done. Starting now. Just kidding, they need two more minutes. Okay, they really are done this time. Also, I'm filming this video by myself, okay? The, you know, so forget that the second camera's in the shot sometimes. I don't want to spoil the magic, but this is how it works. 
my um, recipe on the website, on my, on my website, it says that you'll yield two dozen big cookies, but no you won't because these are huge. Okay, so maybe two dozen big cookies, but one and a half dozen huge cookies, okay? So we're gonna let these kind of finish um, on the baking sheet. If it takes a little bit longer at your house, that's cool. Maybe you have a janky oven like I do. It takes like 19 minutes in my oven. Um, it takes a while. And then I leave it on here for about two minutes before transferring it to a cookie, um, or not a cookie, uh, a cooling rack. And for me personally, the way that I know that if it's, you know, whether or not it's done is that the edge has started to kind of brown a little bit and you'll see that it's breaking apart on top. It's kind of like, like it's almost gotten a little too big for its britches and it breaks open a bit. That's how I know it's done. That's how I like my cookies. I like the insides cooked obviously, but I don't want a hard cookie. I'm not a hard cookie gal. So I am gonna make a second batch of these. I already scooped them. I have them sitting in the fridge, just chilling out for now. We're gonna cool these and then I'll be right back. All right guys, so our cookies are fresh and hot and steaming and delicious. I obviously think they are amazing, so the true taste test will be when the children get home. Uh, spoiler alert, they like them too. Alright guys, so my kids should be home from school pretty soon now. Our bread will be finished shortly. I'll show you guys that when it is done. Um, but we are moving on now that our delicious little cookies have been baked. Um, <laughs> A little after dinner treat, girl. My kids are gonna be so excited when they get home. Okay guys, what, so here we are. Let's talk about it, the elephant in the room. He's a big boy. This is the Ninja Foodie pressure cooker. It's not just a pressure cooker, obviously, because it's 11 in one. Let me talk to you about what it can do, okay? Listen, I've never used a pressure cooker because I've always been a little bit afraid of them, but I'm pretty excited because we're gonna get down with a get down today and we're gonna go ahead and make some baked mac and cheese. So they do give you like um, a cheat sheet. They give you a uh, cookbook with it. It's pretty cool. Um, this is pretty awesome. And I know it would make a great gift <laughs> because my mom was actually gonna buy it for me for my birthday, um, which just recently passed. But of course she saw that I already had it and she's like, oh great, so now what am I supposed to buy you? Let me tell you, I would have very happily received this as a birthday present, as a Christmas present, as a Hanukkah present. I don't celebrate Hanukkah, but you know what I'm saying. This is a great gift this holiday season for sure for anyone who enjoys being in the kitchen. This thing is the bomb. My uh, friend got a Ninja Foodie grill, I think. That's on HSN as well. I've been just jealous and drooling ever since, okay? But this is such a cool device, all right? I don't wanna to spend too much time yammering on here, but we have the actual unit itself, right? So it comes with the um, cook and crisp plate and the broil rack, and then you have two little silicone um, holders here, you know, safety first, ladies. We don't wanna get, get ourselves burned. And of course, it comes with the pressure cooker lid, and then this lid always stays on. You would just open it, and then you stick this lid on over top here, and it locks in. Um, but this part will always be on. And then in the back, you have this little, like, condensation collector, um, so you can, you know, easily access that and pour it out when needed. You're baking whole cookies and cakes and pies up in here. Oh, and then they do have the Ninja um, Foodie cookbooks. Those are on HSN as well. Um, I saw them last night. All right, guys, so we're gonna get help. <clears throat> okay, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this baked mac and cheese, and we're gonna see how it comes out. 14 minutes? I have 14 minutes. Okay, guys, so for this baked mac and cheese, the um, recipe is pretty straightforward. You start by putting baking soda and lemon juice in the pot. A okay, one tablespoon of baking soda, half cup of lemon juice. Five cups of water. So we're gonna go ahead and um, actually turn on our little ninja baby. You wanna line up the lid with this little arrow down here and then you can lock, whoops. Turned her. 
you can lock it up and set your uh, pressure valve to seal. Guys, look at all the different functions that it has. Pressure cooking, steaming, slow cooker, yogurt, sear, saute, dehydrate, broil, bake, and roast. You can air crisp, you can use the sous vide, you can keep warm, you can adjust the temperature, adjust the time, and then it's just obviously a very easy to read and um, easy to use machine. So we're gonna go ahead, and now that we have our pressure release, uh, or rather our pressure lid attached, we're gonna select pressure. We are going to set it to low, and we're gonna set our time to zero minutes, because by the time it comes up to pressure, um, it will actually have been enough time to cook the pasta. So now we're gonna hit start and off it goes. Okay guys, as you can see, it's been like 12, 13 minutes that it's been doing the natural release, so we're just gonna finish it off by doing the quick release now. We're gonna move the pressure release valve to the vent position. Okay, so it looks like all of that is vented out now, so we're gonna carefully remove the lid, and there she is in all her glory. Oh my gosh, I kind of can't believe that this happened, and that was like so quick. You can hear it, it's definitely cooked. Now we're gonna add our seasonings, which is a bunch of salt, onion powder, pepper, and garlic powder. I didn't have any mustard powder, so we are missing that. Now we're gonna add our cheese too. It's cheddar and Monterey Jack. It is 16 ounces. That's a lot of cheese, baby. All right, eight ounces of heavy whipping cream, and then we are going to stir, stir, stir until everything is combined and the cheese has melted. I think I might have used whole wheat pasta and that's why the color is like a little more <laughs> brown than I'm used to. <laughs> I mean, that's all good, that's all good. I can handle that. And for the topping, we're gonna combine our two cups of Italian breadcrumbs with our stick of melted butter and get that all worked in together. Then we're gonna go ahead and crust the top of our mac and cheese. All right guys, this is our mac and cheese all covered in our breadcrumb concoction. We're gonna close the lid now. So now that we've closed the crisping lid, we're gonna select air crisp. And we're gonna set the temperature to 360 degrees and the time to seven minutes. Hit start. And as soon as that's done, we have some mac and cheese. All right guys, our mac and cheese is done. The sun is setting. I am gonna show you our bread. It has about 20 minutes left. I will go ahead and show you guys how it ended up coming out. Um, but our Ninja just shut off, so I'm gonna go ahead and scoop out. You do wanna open it um, so that the steam is not gonna like hit you in the face, you know? Uh, so we'll go, there we go. Oh, it looks so good. Look at this little crispy brown crust. All right guys, you can see that it crisped up the top of the mac and cheese. It's super gooey. Oh yeah, baby. That really took like 20 minutes. <laughs> what is life? This is freaking amazing. All right guys, the Ninja Foodie will have anyone feeling like a chef. Okay, literally like 30 minutes has elapsed, but obviously <laughs> the light has changed drastically. The kids are home from school now. Um, I had to run out and do an errand that took me about 15 minutes and while I was gone, my kid showed up and ate the rest. No, I did. <laughs> now I have the rest of mac and, I cheese. Love mac and cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and get her some more. Oh gosh, that is so much. So much mac and cheese. All right, we adjusted the lighting. We're gonna go ahead and twist and lift. Ooh, la, la. Here's our bread. Like I said, this was my first loaf and I did nothing beyond um, Put the ingredients in. putting the ingredients in, exactly. Yeah, I hear them now. Oh, oh my gosh, can you try some? So this is like perfectly, get out of Dodge. I am like flabbergasted by this. So you can flip it on its side and cut it this direction or the other direction. Totally up to you. So this is nice and warm still. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just slice into this bad boy. I kinda wanna do it the other way, but we'll do it this way. It's I'm gonna get so it. warm, so I'm gonna use a clean towel to kind of hold it. I'm gonna get some jam. Jam, babe, why don't you have it with your mac and cheese? Yeah, I'm gonna get some jam, and then I'm gonna have it with some mac and cheese. All right. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have my Hang on, here, go get what you're gonna get. Could we all try a little bit of that? Also, I'm gonna get myself a bowl. Back in that 
This looks so good. Oh my gosh. Mm, so good, so good, so good. Mom, could you put half mine with butter and half mine with jelly? How is it compared to like the bread I was making uh, myself before? Um, a million times better. Oh, rude. <laughs> no, I like, I like your bread. The crust on it, like, the inside is so soft. The crust is just perfect. And it's not even that messy. It's like not even that crumbly. Like I haven't dropped a piece. I'm gonna do it. Stop it. It has a tiny bit of flour on the sides, but beyond that, you guys, this is so incredibly easy. Oh my gosh. All right guys, we're gonna toss it back to the other Sarah who's gonna finish out the video the right way. All right guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I had a blast filming it. If you wanna see anything else like this, you can check out my vlog channel. It's definitely a lot more lifestyle over there, but I'm not nearly as put together as I was today. Uh, but if you wanna see anything else like this, definitely let me know. This was really fun to film. I hope that you guys got some great gift ideas from this video. I will have the links to everything down below on HSN. And I hope that you enjoyed the video. I will leave recipes for what I can. And um, I guess I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.